this was common that sometimes the woman sometimes used to come for all all, uh, all summer and and uh, in the case, but the man, of course, you have to go to work wherever you live, Boston or New York, and, and uh, it's still the summer. And, uh, what other questions?
English was 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 uh, became the uh, the language because of these these people that come in. They were seeing a lot of, and they were all single, and we always held, and we all liked to watch them, and we learned we learned to speak English, yeah. and uh, of course they had a very deep English accent. Yeah. Some of us, uh, you see, so we came to this. this that's why I said it. And we, uh, that's why our uh, our language is mixed up. You've noticed that with the kids, you know. Uh, it's, uh, some words, it's just French. That's all they know. And there is, uh, you know, and uh, uh, sometimes you, you think, geez, well, it, it, it's an English uh, accent <coughs> word. Or, or uh, what's the matter? From that, then, it, it stayed through the years, through the years, you know. Some words are still very much English words. Mixed with the French, you know. Did you ever hear how Eagle Lake got, got its name? I don't know. I don't know. <coughs> uh, is, we've heard two stories, and I just wondered if you had heard either one of the, the two stories. One is that it's shaped like an eagle. Well, that's what they tell me. That's what they tell me. Of course, I spoke to them. Maybe those who get up on planes up there, they probably see it uh, sometimes pretty far fetched. Uh, and uh, there was, at the time, the place was run by a man that the, the states, uh, uh, you know, and he, he, he ran the town. There was no such, there was no town as such. They, he came here for, and he collected the taxes to, and uh, whatever they were to collect, and uh, uh, he ran the town. Uh, probably an engineer or uh, some sort of uh, English-speaking man, and uh, that's where these people got a lot of their English. And uh, I always thought that they probably gave the town its name. I, I couldn't believe they look at me like, you know, but it could, it could have, you know, to me they look, you know, no matter how high, I know we're not very high, but, you know, over the top of the house they look at me, so, uh, uh, but we don't know really, I, I suppose, maybe there is some uh, main history book somewhere that would, uh, but then it, it's, it's all guesswork also, you know, because I know one year they'd, uh, you know, it, Remember what they they, they, they wrote uh, uh, history of Maine or something books, and uh, there was not they didn't say much. I don't know, I think there was a, there was a, well, there was a lot more to say, you know, but they didn't say anything either or how we got his name, but we didn't know or whatever. Anything else you'd like to tell the class about growing up in Eagle Lake? Or oh, <laughs> what you because they are growing up in Eagle Lake. <laughs> you walked to school. Well, yeah, we used to you walk. Didn't have school. Bus. Even my oldest kids had to walk to school. Yeah. Well, we were fun though. We used to fight on the just the younger ones. On the way to school. Oh boy. Yeah. And, you know, form groups, you know, the school for that group. We had our leaders. No school and, lunch. You come home for dinner. Yeah. We didn't come home, lunch. home for lunch. Yeah. That, that was a nice part of the day because in the morning we didn't have time to play around. You know, time we got the wood in and just make it to school. But at noon though, we had time back and forth to play around. And as long as, as long as you made it, time the bell rang, we're always a few. Well, we ran to the, to the school when the bell rang. But we had the play. Yeah. And in the summertime, you went to pick berries. Oh, there was plenty of berries. They were good too. Yeah. You know, oh, you used to go the door and pick all the berries you wanted. Yeah, you used to go a big box. So yeah, we ne when we were young, we never went to the lake. No, no. People didn't go swimming, not no. us. No. People didn't go to the lake. No, because... No, even the grown-ups didn't go to the lake. I don't know why. I don't know. They didn't no. get washed enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that, that was where... No, no, no. The mother used to bring in the wood for the mills. Yes, sweet. And the lake was loaded with wood. You know, you could walk on the lake. On, on, on the wall. They used to go wade in the water, or the group. You know, so these were first to we the foremost, and they were company towns, well, company towns, a few farmers, but then the companies moved in, of course, with all the money, and the, uh, and, uh, the big mills were built, and uh, they built houses for the, for the, for the workers, uh, the, the, the companies built the houses for the workers, 
stream. Well, the roads would not drop down. Uh, they kept riding on top of the snow. You know, so we didn't know. <laughs> and then, and then people didn't, didn't open up their doors.